Hi there everyone, I uh, wanted to upload another video today after uh, because it's been a long time and I wanted to show you my German stamp collection and it has grown significantly since my last video so I uh, hope you enjoy it so uh, we're starting with uh, some occupation stamps from World War One. these are from the occupation of Belgium and uh, moving down to uh, stamps from the free state of Danzig which uh, which no longer exists I think the city today is, uh, is a part of Poland and uh, at the end of the page here we have two overprinted stamps from Bavaria um, after Bavaria was um, incorporated into the German Empire. Uh, moving on to uh, the German Reich or the German Empire, um, including both the Empire before World War I and uh, the, the Weimar Republic between the two World Wars as well as Nazi Germany. Um, we have some old ones here. These are uh, from the time when uh, the inscription was still uh, Reich Post. Then uh, it was changed to Deutsch Reich. Uh, these are uh, Germania stamps showing um, the personification of Germany uh, as a woman. And uh, again, continuing. Uh, the three at the end there are airmail stamps. They are uh, of a, these three stamps are of a much higher value if they are used, and as you can see, mine uh, are unused, so they will be of uh, of low value. So continuing, and uh, now we have the numbered stamps. A lot of them are overprinted from the time of. Um, from the time of uh, the inflation, basically when the Weimar Republic started. Again, um, I got most of these stamps from eBay, mostly. And um, with uh, the stamps of Paul von Hindenburg, the president, who have started the period of Nazi Germany. This is the complete set. Okay, here we see the second set of Paul von Hindenburg. The one in the middle there, which says Danzig ist Deutsch. It's when uh, Danzig was incorporated into the German Empire, into Nazi Germany. Hitler stamps and as, uh, as you can see stamps from this period were mostly propaganda stamps here we have some Hitler stamps again I think these were issued on uh, to commemorate one of his birthdays some more German stamps showing the war effort mostly and uh, at the end there, when uh, Hitler changed the name of Germany to say Greater German Reich instead of German Reich. So that's why there's the cross instead of in, in front of the Deutsche Reich. So I'm uh, proceeding with some Nazi occupations. This is the uh, Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, which was mostly uh, the Czech Republic nowadays. And uh, below we have the general government, um, which was the government during the uh, occupation of Poland. And uh, now moving on after World War II. So first I'm going to show you this, the stamps of um, East Germany or the German Democratic Republic, part of Germany that was communist until very recently, until the early 90s. Um, I read somewhere that this was the country that issued 
at least from the communist country, this was the country which issued the most stamps. It was East Germany. Some more occupation stamps. We have the province of Saxony, which only lasted a year, then it was incorporated into East Germany. And we uh, have here um, uh, stamps issued by the Allies during the occupation of uh, Germany. These were in, the first one was issued by the English and the Americans, and the second one by the Joint um, uh, Occupation Force, also including France. And at the end here we have uh, Berlin stamps because uh, West Berlin was an independent entity and it, it issued its own stamps up until 1990. So um, finally arrived at West Germany or the Federal Republic of Germany as its, uh, its proper name. So the older stamps are when it was when more Germany was still divided and then afterwards in 91 if I'm not mistaken when the Berlin Wall fell East Germany was incorporated into West Germany or into the Federal Republic of Germany Here we have some more random stamps from when uh, Germany was still divided from the uh, from the western side. And uh, now we have fi uh, finally arrived um, to the present day Germany, so the unified Germany. These are the, the famous flowers collection, it, it's, it's a huge one, I only have these, but uh, there are much more available. The, the gate, Mandenburg gate. And uh, this is the final page of my German album. These are very recent stamps, maybe 2015, 2016, something like that, most of them. And uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy it. Bye.